Hello? Hey, man. Um, did you hear what Richie was saying about you? Mm, no, what would you say about me? Well, Richie was saying how he doesn't think you're going to be the one to get the scholarship, and he's laughing at you for trying so damn hard. It's actually funny you say that when I've been varsity captain for the past four years, and he's got a lot of nerve coming at me like that when he's been on JV for the past three years. He's not even good on varsity, not to mention he's not even being captain. Well, he told me that it helps when you're um, the coach's best friend. When you're the coach's son, best friend, but you know, he said, who's complaining? And I just thought you would know that. So, talk to you later. Uh, okay, thank you. Hello? Hey babe, um, I have some news, I need you to come over right now. Oh, I have some great news as well. I'll be on my way. Well, this makes one of us. What? Never mind, I'll see you when you get here. Bye. Okay. I've got some good news. I have some news too. Well, I say I'm gonna take this. I'm pregnant. Here. Whoa, what do you mean you're pregnant? What do you mean? What do I mean I'm pregnant? I'm pregnant and you basically did this to me, so it's kind of funny. How is this even my fault? Wait, just get off your phone. And first of all, it is your fault because this isn't a two person thing. This is a one person thing. Well, we were so couple, this hasn't happened before. Well, things happen and it's how it has to be. Well, you can have an abortion. No, 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 no. I'm not having an abortion. Get that through your thick head. Fine, then. What are we going to do? Well, since I figured you pass up on a scholarship, I figured you'd get a job. You'd probably help pay for financial support. Whoa, who said anything about a job? What do you mean? You put me in a situation. Actually, you put both of us in this situation. So it's technically the right thing to do, given the fact, like I said before, you put us in a situation. Look, like how you said, things happen. Things always happen. What makes you think, what about my future? What do you mean, what about your future? What about my future? You think I want to be 17 and pregnant, raising this baby on my own when you have a chance to go off to college to New York and I'm in California? No, you're going to help. And you are going to help no matter what. Whatever. You know what? Get out. Fine. You're so selfish. Bye. You know what? <sighs> Bye. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Whatever. Hello? Hey, Rod. I just wanted to make sure if you've made your decision on playing for the scholarship. Um, I don't know, Coach, because at this point, my girlfriend's pregnant, and she gave me a hard-ass time about it, so I really don't know what I'm about to do. That sucks, man. But, son, you have a week left to let me know before they give your spot to someone else. Look, I can imagine the stress you have right now, but you have to realize that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And I'm not telling you to abandon your baby, but you should go and see if you can get the scholarship. If you do, you can go and visit as often as you could, and then after college, come back and be able to support your family. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, but it's kind of hard right now. Uh, can you give me a week until Friday to make my decision? That's good, sorry. Just let me know. Alright, well, thank you. A few moments later. So what are you going to do about basketball? Remember, you have a girlfriend, you have a kid coming. You have to think smartly for your family, not just yourself. Yeah, but I think I'm able to support them more if I take college first and get the scholarship. Do what you feel is right. And at the end of the day, sometimes... <laughs> the next day... So what are you going to do about basketball? Uh, I think I'm going to take the scholarship. I think it's pretty much the best for me at this point. That's good. Just be in mind that you got a kid on the way. Yeah, I know that, but I still think basketball is better for my future. Yeah, I can't. That's my line. 
The next day. know what to bring shame to this family, and you aren't allowed back here. Oh, Samuel, stop. Isn't that long you will stay here until a year after the baby is born? Then you're on your own, sweet child. Thank you. And Samuel, I hate you. You're no more than an uncle to me than Joe was a father to me, you deadbeat. You Get smell. out of here. Get out of here. Man, it's only been a few days. I already feel sick to my stomach. I don't even want to go to school and people talk about me. Can you dish it with me? No, you need to learn how to get used to it, especially because in a few months you're going to start showing. <sighs> I guess you're right. I guess you're right, but today Richard came up to me and he was like, oh, I hear your little boyfriend trapped you and he can go off to New York. Like, what? how is that his business or anything? And then he would just be like, well, Richard, I mean, Brock told Coach and this and that, and now everybody knows, which is bull. I don't know what to do. And then, yeah. One hour later. Hey, why are you taking from our business? Man! Bro, everyone's gonna know anyway, and you're going to NYU, so it doesn't even matter. That's it, let's go then. Okay, let's go! Let's go! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, Bob! Why? Bob's the home. Yeah, Hey coach, I've decided I wanted to go. Great, I do it. Game tomorrow. Okay, uh, what time do I find? When do I find out? You'll find out about an hour or two after the game. Okay, okay, and then when do I find out that I'm going to New York? The following day. You should have let you should have let us know earlier in the week so we can give you more time. But I'll see you tomorrow. All right, thank you. Bye. A few moments later. message and I can't believe he took the offer. I'm gonna be honest, he needed to do what he needed to do. He wants to come back and provide for his family and he wants you and the baby to be a part of that. I think you should go since Samuel doesn't want you in the house and Chris is the only one letting you live there because she gets money from the government. I love him. I really do. I'm just scared to have this baby. I'm scared. I'm actually terrified. I get to find out the sex of the baby later today. What do you want it to be? And why so far along the attorney? Well, I want it to be a girl. Yeah, a girl. So I can name her Juanita. No, I'm just kidding. I want to name her Stevie. And because I figured some rock is in here that I want to go to the name of the baby. Brock and I, we've already talked about baby names and he, we decided 
that she would name the boy, I would name the girl, but when we thought that we were going to be married and out of school, out of college, like, it became relevant. I still think you should at least tell him or give him a call. Cut it. One hour later. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Great. What happened? It's a girl! That's right! <laughs> Just before the baby was born, Isabella Monet took it upon herself to travel to New York for Brock, give birth to her baby girl, then raise her family. She put the past behind her and was ready to start anew. It's me. Um, come in. Oh my gosh, hi. Hi. I'm trying to see. What's um, up? I, I have to talk to you. Again? Mm, that's probably a good place to have to lie. Don't remind me. Um, well, as you see, I'm nine months pregnant. It wasn't really much fault, but I'm nine months pregnant, and it's a girl. Really? That's amazing. I know. I, I love you. I love you, too. Yes. I wonder what I'm going to name you. Maybe Juanita. I don't think your dad would like that. I think your dad would like Gretchen, and I do not like that. Who's this? Hello? Hi, Hi may I speak to Miss Monet? This is she? Hi. Hi, this is Dr. Hoffman, and this is regarding your last visit. Okay. Nobody wanna see us together, but it don't matter, no. Cause I got you. Nobody wanna see us together, but it don't matter, no. Cause we, Cause we gon' fight. Oh yes, we gon' fight. Believe we gon' fight. Fight for our right to love, yeah. Loopers, you dig? Ah, the white one. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Do you feel beautiful? I feel wonderful. Okay. <laughs> drunk. Everyone look drunk. Hello? Era la primera vez que te miraba, todo fue tan tierno. Nunca lo olvidé. Te dije mi nombre. Me dijiste el tuyo y después charlamos unas cuantas horas.